Euro 2024, time for a bit of a debate. Uh, VAR, is it working at Euro 2024? I know one man who's got a, uh, might be shaking his head at this one. Neil Meller, uh, is it working? Is it working better than, say, the Premier League, maybe? Yeah, I think it's working better than the Premier League because of the the new offside that, that's come in. And I can't wait to see that in the Premier League. I can't believe it's not going to be ready for the start of the season. Um, but it will be implemented at some point uh, early on in next season, the Premier League. And, and it's something that we've sort of said in 2024, surely we need the technology to be able to define something like this quicker. And, it, and that's something I've really enjoyed. The speed of these offside decisions, rather than drawing these lines, it's a lot clearer, it's a lot quicker and I think that's been a major positive with VAR. I, I still, I still disagree with uh, interpretation of officials, of referees. They will look at a, a rule book and tell me the wording, and I'll say, "Well, that's fine, but that's still not the right decision." And I'm referring to the what the Belgian handball when Belgium were robbed of an equalising goal, Lukaku. And what I don't understand is when an official looks at it, and, and we've all seen this incident. The Belgian lad's going down the left wing. He's been fouled. He has been fouled by the Slovakian player. So he's trying to get his body in front. He's, he, by getting his body in front, his right arm brushes the ball. Does it give him an advantage? Not really, because he still has four touches before he crosses the ball. So it's not like he's touched it with his hand and it's created a goal-scoring chance. For that, I could I could understand it being decided. It's not. So for me, I really don't like that rule. This is not what football is about, disallowing goals like that. Really don't like that interpretation. And the biggest frustration is, why is that disallowed in, in Champions League, in, in the European Championships, and not in the Premier League? The lack of consistency with rules is a problem. And I thought that goal should have stood. And I was fuming with that. So that's interpretation of the officials looking at a, a law book with that I completely disagree with. Nice to see Snicko on the pitch, though. Good to see technology. I mean, I don't know how they managed to work out where the sound came from on that. But anyway, uh, bringing cricket cricket um, rules. I know James Butler, it's, uh, our, our cricket badger in the background, is waving his hand at me saying, love a bit of cricket. But Paul, it's hardly like he punched it down the line and and, and made made... Did he get a severe advantage from it? No, but he handballed it. And that's the problem. He, he handballed it. It's fact. And that's the problem. The interpretation, we are in pursuit of perfection, which you're never going to get. So in the pursuit of perfection, we're going to get decisions like this. Introducing the snickometer. How far back do you actually roll the tape back to, to disallow a goal? So listen, I'm in full agreement with Neil. There's no need for that. But what they're trying to do, they are in pursuit of perfection. They're never, ever going to get it. And these decisions are going to arise because somebody watching a monitor will go, I think there might have been handball 20 seconds ago. We need to go and have a look at this. Then they play it back. Then they'll look at it. And then there'll be a snickometer. And the fact of the matter is, he has handballed it. It's led to a goal. And in pursuit of perfection, we will get decisions like that where we'll all go scratch our heads and say, that's, I mean, it shouldn't have been given. But... By the letter of the law, it was handball in the build-up to a goal. So they will argue that they've got the right decision. Do we want that in our game? Don't really want to see it. These automated offsides, I think, are brilliant. I think they're outstanding. Why we can't get it at the start of the season, I don't know. But from an English point of view, from the Premier League point of view, let's just use it like they are doing in the Euros. Don't try and tweak it. Don't try and do it our way, like we did when VAR first came in. Oh, VAR's coming, but we're not going to quite use it the same as everybody else. We're going to try and do it differently. Because we're the Premier League, we can do it a little bit differently to everybody else. It's brilliant the way it is. Leave it as it is and use it as it is. Don't mess with it. But in the pursuit of perfection, we're always going to get these decisions, I'm afraid.